Well, hello, all you Star Vista Live cruisers, and specifically you Soul Train cruisers tuning in. I'm your virtual cruise host, Jason, and welcome back yet again to another edition of All Access Pass from or at home, and whichever you so desire. Obviously, this is our uh, our way of bringing a little content to you. You know, many of you are sitting at home and are hoping for things to watch and or do. And what better thing to do, I should say, what better thing to turn into than some time with some of your favorite stars, some legends from the music industry. Uh, today, I'm going to be handing the reins over to two very accomplished, very worthy folks. If you're a Soul Train cruiser, you know them as they are your hosts of all your all-access passes on board the ship. And if you're just tuning in, these are uh, two of our cruisers cruise co-hosts. In fact, one of them is the namesake, the whole reason we have this cruise. So with all of that said, the three folks I'm sharing the screen with, uh, to uh, to my side here, we have the one and only Mr. Tony Cornelius. We have uh, the yeah. fabulous Miss Angela Stribling. And then of course, we have the legend, Mr. Peebo Bryson on with us. So friends and family, oh, take it sit away. Sit back down, sit back down, everybody. <laughs> in their living rooms, Peebo, in their living rooms right now. Full standing up. Wow. There's been so Hi, much guys. Disney. There's been so much Disney watched this month that you have got it. Your 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 star has grown more of it even possible. So all right, my friends, I'm out of here. Have a great interview. I'll see you at the end. Thanks, Jason. Bye, Jason. Well, Tony, we're back together again. All we are, access we are. I mean, we're, so, home. we're so far away. I'm clear across the country. You clear you're clear across the country. People is as yeah. well. And it's just it's just amazing how People, you, you, you find the best in people when things are really difficult, you know? So I'm, I'm really privileged to be here and, and obviously having people here with us is un, unreal, you know, really. It is so Well, we unreal. have the technology, why not use it? Yes, and when you know, <laughs> I was just gonna say, just in our all access tradition. So Tony, why don't you go ahead and formally introduce him? Well, you know, we've got a guy here that I've known for quite some time. He, he and my father were very close, and now he and I are very close. We, we have all kinds of different conversations, and I love this guy to death. And, and here on All Access Pass at Home, we've got the tremendous sound uh, and life and person in Mr. Peebo Rice. Woo, yes, oh, they're clapping again. Hey, <laughs> listen. <laughs> uh, what an honor it is, you know, uh, what an honor it is to become your friend as well. You know, uh, I, I love your father and I love you too. I'm, I'm, I must be honest. And Angela, you're easy love, baby. <laughs> oh, I love you right back. I sure do. You know what? No, happy just... belated birthday to both of you. What is the 13th? Peebo, you're the 13th and Tony's the 15th yeah. of April. Absolutely. Right? I know. Aries gonna rule the world, you know. That's just the way it is. And yeah, so Aries, Aries you know, in the house. Aries in the house. That's yeah. right. Did you know? Did you know that, that uh -oh. the only the only men on the planet have ever come close to ruling the world or or have ruled a portion of it for a period of time were all Aries. <laughs> all right, I'm not surprised. Hey, and by the way, the best, chef, the best chefs in the world are men too, Angela. Just, just. So well, you know, know what? Okay? <laughs> now you went and messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I'm I have to say, <laughs> I am your astrological opposite, but we're like the best opposites. I'm Libra. I'm October 13th. Uh -huh. So, people, we're born on the 13th. My father was but a Libra, I, September 27th. See, yeah. Isn't it something? Libras rock. Well. We, we used to do this sometimes, too. <laughs> but it was oh, all love, know. though, right? It was all love. <laughs> the, worst, right. the worst, Tony, are 10-9 leaves. 10-9 <laughs> nine leaves are, whew. Oh, my God. Uh, every headache that I've ever had in the past is probably caused by somebody yeah. with a 10-9 leaf. <laughs> well, listen, uh -oh. I, I just want to say, I mean, the reason we're here is is because of what's going on today. And I just want to say real quick that I was thinking about it today before the call and saying that it's, it's just amazing that things like this brings out the best in us. But why why can't it bring out the best of us when it's not happening? And I, I think people and I mm -hmm. had a conversation about this uh, several days ago as to why things happen and what it does to us as people, you know, it's just, uh, it's just- You're so right. You know, it, it, I, I think it's, it's part of the human condition to, we're just, we're just not at our best until we're standing on the precipice of oblivion. 
it's it's just a human thing and for for us we don't we don't recognize uh the person standing next to us until we're on the brink of destruction in some way shape or form and uh, i don't think anything galvanized uh, america like like 911 did you know uh it it was the first time in in my life and in, in in my memory that i heard white people say something like shut up Colin Powell's getting ready to say something. <laughs> like, How about that? I know that's something. <laughs> that like, that's funny. You know, it's yeah, almost, it's almost laughable now, right? It's almost laughable now, but but we wanted to we wanted to listen to someone speak who had a, a certain credibility that we were that we felt was lacking in that particular point. Everybody, not just me, everybody. So I, I think I, I think that although good things come from it. It's like, why can't we have the Christmas spirit every single day? I don't get mm. it. it was, it's, yeah. it's, the, it's the same. It's the same question as Tony's asking. Why, you know, why don't we? Is it's because we allow our humanity to take a black eye every other, at least every other day. Some, sometimes days in a row. <laughs> just so well put. Just take a happen. black eye. Yeah. yeah but that being said, with um, you know it it kind of levels the playing field. I mean, we're all in this together. Everybody's at home. I'm doing my radio show, The Quiet Storm, from home, doing everything from home. Everybody is. That being said, how are you doing? You are normally on the road all the time, touring. How are you dealing with well, this new normal, being home all the time? Well, I, I get a chance to rebond with my grandchildren. Mm -hmm. I get a chance to get on their nerves in ways that they don't like we we take the my my and the, the english the brits call it taking the piss so we, we taking the what we take, taking the test taking the piss oh. <laughs> we, yeah, yeah. Oh, see. So you're, you're taking the starch out of somebody you know uh, in in our culture we call it the dozens <laughs> yeah you mama's so fat you're no not, not quite, exactly not quite but but in, in other words, it's, it's like taking a little bit of the starch that you that you you have out of your out of your shirt just because I can do it, <laughs> you know, just because mm -hmm. you're there. You know, uh, it, it's it's a it's the it's the British way of dealing with uh, any stressful situation. They're just gonna it, people are gonna start laughing. They're gonna find something to be uh, uh, something to be funny about something, even though it might the 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 essence of it is horrific. They'll find something funny about it. I, it's so it 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 also teaches you to 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 be able to laugh at yourself, which is mm. an essential part of of being human and 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 holding on to your humility as well as your humanity. Yeah. You know, so so being able to laugh bring at some levity. Is, mm. well, you know, yeah, you know, you gotta you gotta be able to do this. But but during this time, it also gives me an opportunity. It gives everyone an opportunity to to bond with the, the ones that the, those that we love and, and care about in a in a in a very different way you know in an everyday kind of you know if if you if you didn't have a good relationship before this you have a really worse one now <laughs> you are doomed sure. oh yeah <laughs> you know it, it's so interesting how in uh, china you know they're the first to go through this and came out of it and their divorce rate was at an all-time high and people were thinking they were going to be getting closer. They're like, you know what? I've been hanging out with you every day, and I don't like it. <laughs> Give us well, you know, if, if you know, but but your fuse is so short. You know, you start to. I'll, I'll walk through the house now, and I'll I'll look, and I'll see that the pantry door is open. And I'm like, <laughs> that bitch. Shouldn't you close the doggone <laughs> pantry door? <laughs> Those are real good topics for your radio show. They yeah, really are. You, like, you know, it's the same really time, same time, you know when, when you talk about bringing things out of us, I mean, I, I like to eat and I don't like to cook, but all of a sudden I've become this cook, you know? Uh, and I'm exactly. doing black eyed cornbread and red beans and rice and, and shepherd's pie and things like that. And it's just amazing how you start to transform in a, in a sense. You, right. you really do. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show this video uh, and, and actually the recording of it to everybody in this house to let them know that I have another job. I'm not just a, I'm not a, a chef. 
Because <laughs> it's funny. <'Cause, laughs> right? You want to remember chef. who I am? <laughs> I'm not the I'm not the cook. <laughs> but but I mean but I, every single day they will ask me what are we having for dinner? Is that right? <laughs> what um, are we having? What well, what are what are we making? <laughs> <Hello. laughs> That's the question. You know, but and you know, also I, Go ahead, go ahead. Go on. Go, no, go, go on. No, I, I was no, well, thinking, I said, this early, I said this earlier, and I, I, I was talking to you guys prior to the call, is that I, I went back and I, I looked at some songs that are just just, just epics, uh, Beauty and the Beast and, and uh, the, the piece you did with the world. Bell. And I'm like, I, yeah. when I see people, I go, oh, man, that's people over there. And, and when, I, when I see this song, I'm like, this guy is a freaking superstar. You know, and I should be bowing at his feet when I see him. I mean, the songs are just incredible. And I, for those that have not heard those songs in a long time, they should go back and listen to them. And you two will feel the same way I feel about people wrestling. Yeah, you, you know, it's a, it, you can't, the, the, the thing is, Tony, you can't make a thing that's true not be true. And you can't make a thing that's not true be true. You, you, it, if it's true, it's true. It, it's true every day, not some days, and yeah. and it's true in every circumstance. And if you if you know that, then you don't feel the need to to toot your own horn or or to blast social me social media with with your accolades and or or in your accomplishments as as if. It sounds like you're talking about forty five right now. <laughs> I know, right? No, so in, a, in a time like this, there are things to be, to, to be, there are some frightening, uh, you know, aspects of, 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 of COVID-19 for, for us as a culture. We have to be careful that we don't end up in a situation where we become Miss Evers boys. Oh, you know, that's what uh, everyone's saying. It's like, remember, don't you know, I'm just saying, you know, I, mean, just, you know right. I don't, I don't trust pharmaceutical companies in general, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't trust them yesterday, long before now, but even less now. I'm not taking anything. I wouldn't. I've never taken. That. I've never had a flu shot. Are you kidding? I don't know what's in there. Yeah. <laughs> do, do, do no, do it's you? a frightening thing. It's a frightening thing because no, on it the is. one hand, no, well, you don't well, want to catch it, but then you don't want to. You don't want to but be open to so something what, you don't know what it is. Well, what do you, Angela? You and Tony tell me this. What does it mean that? you start to reopen non-essential businesses and you start with nails and hair and thank you uh, and i have a complete allergies. problem all with the, that all the, all the places that 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 draw black folk yeah <laughs> I mean, it's unfortunate it's but it's very true and you know i'm on instagram and on social media all the time and one of my favorite posts that i saw today was okay i'll go to these businesses when the golf clubs and all these other types of businesses <laughs> open. And I'm with that. It's like when they all open, then you know that it's fair because this is a little crazy. Why would you do that? Why would you start with well, the it's also and it's and a lot of and us. You know, it's affecting us. That's what I mean. Time. That's the point. Yeah, but the but, but here's the thing, but the, the numbers uh, in our community is, are, 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 are spiking upwards yes. at this particular point. You know, and, and that means that more of us, more black folk are getting it at this particular point. And that means that only more black folk are going to get it. And, and if you really want to test, you got to beg for it and you got to, you got to, you got to offer up your firstborn and, and all that. You got to, yeah. you, you know, you're, you're making Isaac like sacrifices in, in order to get a, a, a test. And, but if you listen to the media, they they imply that these tests are readily 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 available, yeah. and they're not. You know, no, uh, not. And you, if you if you call the CDC, you if you get a nurse, she's not going to direct you towards anything that's going to help you, uh, especially. And that, there's evidence of that right there in California. They couldn't they couldn't tell anybody to do anything, and they were they didn't have any any pertinent information to offer anyone who calls the CDC. I, I don't get what your mandate is, or or, or, or I know what it should be, but yeah. I don't I don't know what I it agree. is. At this and point. you know, the thing is, 
you know, what we can do is stay home. In the beginning, a lot of black people were feeling like, oh, we don't get it, you know, because the numbers weren't being reported about the black people getting it. And I think there was this false sense of security and people were just going outside and meeting up anyway. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't so much that as uh, places where, where you would get it, like hair salons and nail salons and places like that were closed. We weren't going and, and we weren't going. So we weren't getting it because we weren't we weren't exposing ourselves to it as much as everybody else was. I mean, but then to uh, suddenly, I don't know what happened to our culture that we feel like we got to go to a spring break. I I, I laugh every time I I think of my kid thinking that she was going to go to spring break when she was in high school. <laughs> I still laugh. <laughs> <about it. laughs> but you know, also at the same time, though, I, I think it's 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 heightened our our, our thought process when it comes to uh, tr taking care of ourselves. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm washing my and hands right. every day. I did that all the time, but I mean, real, I'm really cognizant of it now, you know? Um, yeah, you, you people, get, you I get, tell people, start, I don't know if you want to tell anybody this, but he says, he says he puts the hand sanitizer uh, shut up, on, the shut up. on the gloves. On the gloves? Listen, I, I think it's a good idea. I'm like, now that I'm with that. Great, what a great idea that is. Because that's what's actually like making it. contact with these services. You know, so. Exactly. Hey, and, you know, you can, if you do that, you can just, you can keep using the same gloves. You, I've sanitized my hands before I put on the gloves. And it's, it's difficult to do because you have to let them dry, really, you know. Uh, well, it, you know what, though? Put on some shea butter. You, you, I have been wearing those gloves all the time too, these rubber gloves, but you put some right. shea butter on your hand, then you put the gloves on, keep them on all the time, and then, you know, wash your hands with the gloves on just like you would normally. Yep. And after you, right. when you finally take them off, your hands are nice and soft because you had the well, gloves on, the you've got if, your shea if, butter. If you, if, you, if you use the shea butter and uh, a, a, um, a, a the sanitizer? It, what, what not, not just the sanitizer. It's, it's, it's sanitizers have to, uh, are, are great, but they gotta, they gotta, it's gotta be an antibacterial. Yes, thing. exactly. You know, it's gotta be a serious one. Uh, the one that, ones that will, will attack a, 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 a viral uh, entity. If you, if you, if, if you don't, if you're not using that, then you're not really, you know, 99% don't, doesn't work. Because it, you can have ninety nine percent of the of the of the germs killed, and and and, and the one that the one that you point one percent, <laughs> right? Yeah. But that's yeah. why it's important to wash all the time. But you know what, people? I didn't know this about you. You're my well, fellow germaphobe. I like it. <laughs> well, you know. I, it, but it, here's the thing: if you're going to if you're going to be cooking. Mm -hmm. You gotta wash your hands a lot. You gotta wash. You know, yeah. you gotta wash your hands a lot, and mm -hmm. you gotta wash the food very well. That's just the way it is. You know, you gotta you gotta wash the food and wash your hands. You gotta wash your hands and wash your food. Wash your hands again and, and eat your food. Wash yeah. your hands again, and you gotta you gotta yeah. keep. I mean, I'm not I'm not the aviator just yet. You know, I'm not. You know, I'm not. Uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 not not a gem, not a germaphobe Hughes. like. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a I'm not a germaphobe like like Howard Hughes. That was that's okay, over the top. I don't know why my video just changed. Can that's you guys see, see me? Right oh now. yeah, what happened to you, Angela? You I know? don't know. It just totally changed here. Let me see. Uh, well, there you go. You're back. Angela, don't touch that's one button. Don't touch button. I had don't not touched you. anything. <laughs> you touched something, Angela. I didn't. I really did not. I just had to touch it to get it back. Say, I mean, you know, you know. I also was going to say. I mean, we we talk and we laugh about it, and if we're not, if we're not affected by it, feel like it's not me, and you know, it's just like you know, when my father passed. You know, prior to um, uh, his passing, Correct. suicide was just something that I thought was for correct you know, handle life. You know. Um, and then when it happened to me, it was a whole different story. And I, and I use that as a, as a, as a frame for, for this as well. I mean, when you're, when you're healthy and you feel good about it, you're like, well, I'm good. 
I'm going to do go through life and I'm going to do what I can do. But but there are a well, lot of people who have died here. There are a lot of people who have who Well, here's like, the thing. You got you you make a you make a valid point, Tony, because the 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 truth is, you know, we've been burying our heads in the sand for a long, long time. You know, it's not it's not just this particular issue. Uh, it, it started with, uh, and, and people don't realize it, but it, 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 this, this, that mentality that you're talking about starts very subtly. You know, it, it, we start accepting people saying things in music like referring to, to women as bitches and hoes. Mm -hmm. and, 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 the, and, and women will say, and they said, I've, 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 I've heard this a thousand times and you have too. Well, he's not talking about me. Yeah, he is actually. You know, uh, yeah. he's talking about every if he if he if he says that to one woman, he's he means every woman. It's not you, you don't get to corral yourself out of that or extract yourself from that as as if you're unique. Uh, he's not talking about me, and they continue to dance to the song on the on the dance floor while he's they're saying he's not talking about me, and they continue to dance because they don't want anything to interrupt or interfere with their having a good time. So, yeah, so it's it started with, with, with simple with, with simple things like that. But once, if you accept that, then you got it. Then, then your your perception of reality is going to be a little bit distorted. I mean, and then if you play, if you're if you're uh, of a certain age group and you play video games, death is is something that you hit the reset button and everybody's alive again. Hmm. So you know you're you become desensitized over time about what life and death really is and uh, so you don't, you you cannot as, as an individual, or 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 even collectively, uh, appreciate life on a on a moment to moment basis because you don't see life as a moment to moment thing. That's absolutely you see right. It as, and this is it, the... it, 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 you know you see it as a if 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 it gets really tough, I'll just hit the reset button and everybody will be alive again. Uh, Tony, as Tony and I can tell you that that that's not the way it happens. I mean, not in the real world. Yeah. Gone. Gone is gone, and and you'll say, and you think to yourself, it's you know, it, 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 we feel impervious to 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 things like poverty and death and all that kind of stuff. It, so, the the theory is, dread of thirst when your well is full is a thirst that's unquenchable. Hmm. Hmm. How about that? That's it. You know, yeah. You yeah. know. So, you know, but if if, if in truth. Uh, there's no difference between joy and sorrow, but you don't know that until you lose somebody you love, or you, or, or you lose somebody you le you need, or you lose something that you, you didn't appreciate, or something that you, that you you need more deeply than you did before, or you become to the realization that you need something and someone more than you did before. Which is uh, very similar to the way you started this conversation. You were saying that oftentimes that it's human nature not to really appreciate something until it's gone or almost gone. We appreciate oh, our right. health now and things that we've taken for granted. And, you know, Tony, just as you were saying, we think of things like this happening overseas. It doesn't happen in America. Like the SARS Correct. epidemic, yeah. all of that thing. We're like, okay, that happens over in Asia. It didn't make its way here as far as we well, know. Well, you know, when you say, now it's when a world you say pandemic, pandemic, you know, we don't, we, we, we've never, even repeated the word pandemic, <laughs> you right. know, I mean, exactly. we never uttered it out in, in this space because we don't, we actually, we, you know, we didn't know what a, pan, a pandemic was right. because it's not something that really happens here. But with something that's happening around the world and the, 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 the scary thing about all of this is that we don't know the real numbers. Right. You yeah. can't, you know, so right about you that. can't, you don't know the real numbers. I mean, it, it, it says 46,000 or something like that, you know, heading toward 50,000 more people dead. But yeah, but that's a staggering amount of people to start with. But mm -hmm. and, and, and all you got to understand that all those people, that was somebody's sister, somebody's brother, somebody's right. uncle, father. somebody's mother, father, mm -hmm. aunt cousin there was somebody someone's friend i mean it was you, you got to understand what that means here's the here's the here's the scary thing why would you go anywhere if in the state of georgia do you know how many people have been tested less than one percent wow 
So we don't, and in a state the size Less of than one percent. We don't know what the numbers no, are. We you don't. can't know what the numbers are. You cannot. And why do you think Governor Cuomo wants all these testing things? He wants this testing thing to be twice what it is at this particular point. He's trying to keep people alive. Let me just, let, let me just say. He's been uh, a hero. Man, what a what a what a, a stand up guy this guy's been, you know, yeah. and, and smart yeah. about it and relentless about protecting his folks. You would think that this man was protecting his family. Yeah, and he acts you like would that. Think that. He, That's right. He treats every New Yorker that way. But here's the thing: my manager driving through through Harlem past the hospital just suddenly just picked up his phone and said, "You got to see this: three double wide trailers outside the hospital park." Converted into freezers. I saw that. You know, I mean, it, when the when the, when the New York morgue is full, yeah, you got to you got to start converting double wide trailers into to, to freezers. What are the numbers? Right. Yeah. Um, what are the numbers really? You know, and yeah. what can the numbers be? And if you, if you implying that 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 the, this thing is just going to go away or that it's on its way out or I'm not. I'm not buying that one. You can. You can buy it if you want to. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't don't either. Do it, but, but yeah. don't. That's the other thing that, and, and I and I and I direct this question to you specifically, Devo, when it comes to reinventing yourself. I mean, right now we're doing something on on a on an app that's that's allowing us to reinvent ourselves, and, and I'm curious as to what what are artists thinking? People like yourself. And, and you know what? Want to be in the, what are they? What are they thinking at this point in their, in their careers? Well, here's the thing. I don't want to just start singing and throw my phone up like everybody's doing and all that. I I want to I want to really put some thought into it. Everybody keeps trying to prompt me to do one of those things and all that. I uh, I would much rather if I was going to do something like that. I would I would want to record it in a studio. Or mm. or or set it up in a way that would, the sound is is far more professional than than just somebody, you know, playing it over my phone and all that, and trying to figure out some kind of way to be able to, with the technology, you can you, there's there's a way you can you can download this uh, or this 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 performance or performance like that. There's a way to do it if you. If you choose a format that that will allow you to do that, as opposed to just your phone, because uh, I I wouldn't ask anybody anybody to pay for something that me just singing on my phone, I just wouldn't do it. Why would you ask anybody to pay for that? So that's not even a valid uh, option. And hmm. I wouldn't I wouldn't put one person in 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 harm's way before it's time. I'm just not going to do it. I'm not I'm I'm not interested in in putting myself at risk or anyone, any person at risk in terms of when it's, when it's safe to gather, we're going to gather. Mm. When it's not safe, let's just not do it. Let's not even think about it. So if, if I can, if, if, at the very least, I mean, I, if, if I would find like a, if I could find like a small theater, you know, where I don't have to really come in contact with anybody and they don't have to really come in contact with me, we could keep ourselves isolated from each other even though we work together and all that kind of stuff and and, and you know I'm a germaphobic so I uh, so that I'll be I'll be soaking that microphone in you know scary <laughs> trying to dip <laughs> it in some <laughs> And, I didn't see you now. Yes. <laughs> Bleaching his microphone. But that's not a bad idea. If you were able no. to go to a studio and mm -hmm. uh, use one of these streaming services because I think they can be the biggest Correct. winners in all of this. Like if people would pay. I think streaming services that, 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 that some of these platforms are already in place. Yeah, they are. You know, uh, and, and so that you can, you can, there, there, there are ways to control uh, the, the quality of, of, of a thing. Like, uh, as a matter of fact, Capitol Records has a setup like that, that thing that they do. Um, they have a thing that they do where, where, where they record you live. And and if if I could use a facility like that, great idea. And you don't have to, you know. It's it, but then too, I wouldn't even want to put my musicians at at too much risk. And you know, I it, then you'd have to change the uh, 
the the format that you would use and then choose your songs wisely. Uh, we choose songs that don't require, you know, so much uh, like background vocals or 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 so much kind orchestration that you need too many people in a room at one time. You know, just if you, if you do it, you have to be so thoughtful about how you do it and, and, and to keep everyone safe. And, and the only way I'm going to do it is to keep is to keep everyone safe. I'm just not going to do it any other way. So then, so Evo, is this I'm, maybe it is it maybe a time more for writing and just doing things that you can do on your own? Well, I'll tell you what, Terry and I are are are, are at it, and he's we're trying to he's he's making me, I, his music format. He likes Pro Tools. I don't. <laughs> I mean, I think Pro Tools is a is That's, well for, I me, for me i know right you know i i, I <laughs> some people like it and some people won't won't can't do anything without it and i i i think that that pro, that pro tools is valid and 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 proficient as a as a as music software goes i think it's great but i like other things as well i mean and and having to Try to write with somebody when you can't be in the same room with them anymore. Uh, it's like I gotta call Terry and apologize for the for the last several days because uh, I, we're working and I there are programs that you can use where you know he takes over my computer and then he but then there are also programs that he's had me download that are where where we actually hear the same thing. I he hears my my music or what I'm listening to in my speakers through his speakers, even though he's he's a he's a, he's a couple thousand miles away, which is That's so a, cool. which is again you know it's 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 cool, but you have to continue to work and find ways around it and and you know yeah. doing a vocal section where he can't really hear until I I, I transform them transform those those performances into wave files and send them to him mm. uh, and. and Sending somebody something these days when everybody's at home, Wi-Fi is just kind of like worn out. Sometimes he'll just say, "Hey, listen, I'm just overwhelmed." Wi-Fi says that. <laughs> Taking a break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you, it's Shutting not, down. It's not going to go well. It's not going to be. You know, you can send this file if you want to, but it's, it's going to take you an hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I you just, now. I, I was just really curious how how what artists are thinking these days, and I think you've answered that, and I, I think. There's a lot of interesting things that are going to come from this, you know. Sure. Um, because everybody's, I mean, it's like an ecosystem that we're, 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 if you look under a microscope, you'll see this. They're all going in the same direction. All of a sudden, when it's when they can't go any further, they start they start creating these other these other trap avenues. Tra tra you know, it's just kind of interesting. Yeah, how that but, so true. But Angela, Angela also made an uh, an excellent point when she said. Maybe now's the time for writing, and it is a really good time to write because you can you can you have time to live with things more so than you would if you were uh, uh, writing music on the go. Just have you just have more time to live with a with a thing. And uh, Terry, Terry and Jimmy and I are working on the on the new project now anyway, so nice. it's it's you know you, you it gives you a chance to it actually gives you a reprieve to to try some things and and to think about things in a in a different way you you you're able to be you actually have time to be more thoughtful I guess. yeah and you know a lot of the best songs come out of uh deep emotion and certainly what we're all going through right now has us all feeling some kind of way well, so i can't all, wait to hear what I, the new music is going to sound all like all i have to say is i'm learning to cook now okay i don't write okay i learned i'm learning right? to cook, okay so, um, Angela, I'm going to give you the honors because I know people's got more chores to do at home. And you got to get in that kitchen. You got to get in the kitchen. <laughs> hey, I, here's what I need you guys to do: keep me from having to do, save me from this domesticity, please. <laughs> You're going to be fine. <laughs> you might have to go sit in the car for a few minutes and just get yourself together. <laughs> Evo, I say this to my family all the time. So much. Listen, listen, I say this to my family all the time. I'm, my name is not Hazel. I'm Mr. B. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break. People, I know, well, right? you know what? 
I can't wait to hear your new music with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. I can't wait to hear it. And in the meantime, I'm so happy that you're staying healthy and you're looking good. I need those glasses in my life. Yeah. So tell well, me. Hey, listen, don't, don't we all? <laughs> What's that? Oh, we all need the glasses. <laughs> I meant the look of them. They're fabulous. Thank you. I appreciate that. If you got to do what you do, if you got to wear them, let them be like people Bryson's glasses. Well, here's Absolutely. the thing. Okay, you, you you remember this, and nobody thinks about it. You'll remember it acutely when I when I remind you of it. The coolest uh, glasses anybody ever had, ever. David Ruffin. Uh, go back yeah. and go yeah. back and look at those album yeah, covers. No, and I remember the glasses. Of him. He, he had that's why I got this idea. We had these very funky. Glasses. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but 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 as his brother told me, I mean, uh, Jimmy told me that David was pretty much blind. <laughs> he, he actually <laughs> needed them. <laughs> so he you might as well get some cool. funky glasses if you have to he wear them. He wasn't trying to be cool. He he actually. He actually couldn't walk around without them. I wow. mean, it's just, it's so it's, it, if you got a, I woke up one day, I must have been right at 50. And I realized that the, the writing on the numbers on the phone were fuzzy. Okay. You know, it's not a, and, and I'm a, I'm an incessant reader. I can't help it. I, I can't stop. And, and I'm, I'm like a, unlike Tony, I started learning to cook when I was a peewee, peewee, from my grandmother. Ah, so I, Tody's just learning. And, see, but here's the thing. <laughs> but but when once an area starts something, <laughs> look out. <laughs> but I'm just trying to tell you it's, it's gonna be listen, so I, I so as, as growing up as a teenager, I, I wanted to teach myself about all kinds of cooking, right? Mm. So I started just finding that I wanted to know what French Nouvelle was. You know, I wanted to know, I wanted to eat things that I'm nobody serious. in my neighborhood was going to eat ever. <laughs> They're not going to even try it. You know, that's yeah. me. And, 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 so, and, and it's also, Tony, that's, but that's, all, but that's a, that's an airy thing. We're going to, we're going to want something different. Way. Way. I we, love we, that about well, you guys. Different. You know, we do. I mean, so. So if, both if, of if, you guys, I have to say, good luck in the kitchen. I might be calling both of you for some recipes, some food ideas. Pivo, well, it's been wonderful. And I know I have to close this out. I could talk to you. We could talk to you all day. No, no, I could talk to you guys forever. Keep you know, doing I, what well, you're doing. Thank you for your time. We love you so much. Hey, listen, and you thank know, there's, you for there's always. There's one thing to say, love. There's one thing to say. In closing, find your spirit. Make certain that that you sure your spirit up during this time. I mean, I don't care who you are and what you are. I don't care what you believed yesterday. Well, what you should believe today, what you need to believe today is in your spirit and believe in what it takes to make that spirit stronger. Because at some point, I'm, I, and not probably sooner than, than later, we're all going to need it. And, and, if the, it, and if the truth be told, since the heart attack last year, a year ago now, uh, one thing I I believe in and I rely on every single day is grace. Amen to that. First hand, second hand grace, any kind of grace, that's what it is. If you think that that, that a day goes by that, that we don't receive it, that you don't receive it as an individual, then I'm here to tell you that there's something totally different. It, one day you might wake up and not be able to pray for yourself and realize you can't even say the words to pray to pray for yourself and and then you feel it because you hear you 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 figure out that somebody somebody else is praying for you is praying somebody for you. you don't even somebody that's absolutely you don't right know. that you don't even know somebody people you, you know. touch our hearts with that that is a perfect way for mm -hmm. us to wrap this up i mean Thank I'm you for saying, that. You know. Thank you for being you. And thank you for thank everything you, that you do. People. So, you know, oh, Jason is back. Wasn't this amazing? Hey, Jason. Pretty phenomenal. Hey, people. It was fun. Yeah. No, amazing. So Jason, you know what taking the fifth is now, right? Always, always. I, I, of course, I've, I've worked around a, a lot of folks from overseas, and taking the piss is a regular oh, event. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> see, see, Jason, 
it, yeah. Explain that to Angela because I'm I'm not sure that did she quite got that woman. <laughs> I yeah, she got there. No, I, I think you nailed it. Taking the piss is I just mean, very simply taking an alternate view. You know, it's taking a little bit of a sarcastic view, and it's and it's making light of situations, whether they're big or bad or oh, bold or scary right, or funny. Right. And, and you can. You I've know, always right. heard a different meaning. You can take the piss Correct. out of a situation, or you can take exactly. the piss out of somebody. You can take the piss in a lot Correct. of different ways. Correct. Correct. Thank you. Correct. Correct. Thank you very much. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get Tony to to to, to do some hunting and 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 some different hunting grounds. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time. These grounds have been hunted. Hey, 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 we'll see. Can, you, can you help? Me? Can you remind him of that every once in a while? Well, that, that he needs to hunt in a different hunting ground. I will. There, I will. I did hear him say that he's bowing down to Pebo after uh, at the beginning of this interview. So he's, <laughs> he's going to have to go ahead. Yeah. Listen, yeah. you, all three of you, you guys, gotta know where to go find it, man. <laughs> gotta know where to go find it. And and here's the thing. Let me say something, man. You are, you are one of the most deserving people that I know. And and I only make any of these any suggestion to you at all because you are a deserving person. And not that I don't not I don't have the uh, the right nor the the ability to uh, to differentiate between a deserving person and a person that's not deserving because you got to look at that in one way. I mean, you have to look at giving like like a you got to see yourself as like a an apple tree. An apple tree yields its fruit, or any fruit tree does indiscriminately it doesn't make any difference who's underneath when the fruit when it's when the fruit is ripe and it's time for it to drop it drops a flower breathes its fragrance in the space what regardless of who's there to smell it mm, that's a song right there Woo! i'm just yeah I'm how oh, beautiful just, yes i'm just trying to tell you this is this is something that that i i i i read when i was 14 it became a part of what i what i well, how I said, some say that they would give, but they're only to the deserving. But the trees in your orchard don't say that, or nor the flowers in your in your garden. None of them say that. So you, they give that they might that they exist. That if they don't do that, then they, what do they exist for? Hello, hello. What do they, what do they actually exist for? If if, if not, so you got to look at it. Though though you're one of the most deserving people that I know. I can't. I have to give that same thing to somebody that I don't even like. <laughs> Just I have to extend that same Just courtesy give. to somebody I don't even like. And let me tell you something. That's easier to do to do after the heart attack. Before the heart attack, I wasn't going to do it, mate. <laughs> Opens you up a little bit to the world, I'm sure. No, but we well, you know, well, thank you yeah. for everything. Thank you for everything you've done for us and the Soul Train gang and the Soul Train cruisers. I mean, hey, we all appreciate you so much. Yes, yeah. we Absolutely. do. We sure you know, do. I, 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 there's not, there's not anything that I enjoy doing more than working with you, Tony, and and doing that program and working with you, Angela. has always been a pleasure. And thank Jason, you now so you, much. Right? It's, uh, it's thank like you, it's you 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 surround yourself with good people, so it's 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 easy. You know, and everybody wants to accommodate you because you're such a deserving person. You you bring that, you bring the best out of people, and that's a that's a good thing. Because bringing that kind of humility out of me is not the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> it's not like it's, it's not it's not like I don't have any ego and I don't have anything going. On. It's not it's not that. Is you know there are not that many people I genuinely like. You know, and, and it's <laughs> not that many. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I'm not hey, laughing. Hey, I'm being honest. I'm glad I'm, I'm not on that list. Going. Not today. You know, I'm just saying. You know, on now my list, my list is my list is short, mate. I hear you. <laughs> really? yeah. Life's too short to Listen, not be honest. Listen, all three of you guys are world class. Thank you. I'm so you, Jason. I know you've been trying you. to. No, go. You know, keep I have to. I have to love you because. I'm I'm required to do that, but I don't have to like you. <laughs> and I don't have so to, true. I don't have to and I don't have to leave myself in harm's way because I love you. You got that you know, right. I don't, real do that. I don't have to do any of those. You know, I don't have to do any because of those. Because you have things. to love you first like and you. foremost. You have to love yourself first and, and foremost. See, and if you don't if, if you don't know how to love you, then you don't know how to love anybody else anyway. This is very you know, true. You know, but here's the thing. Yeah, but it's it's hard to love yourself out loud. 
and and we're always out loud constantly out loud see we we're, we're we're constantly trying to project even when we get up and put our clothes on in the morning and 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 and, and you know look in the mirror we're we're trying to project some kind of image that will be more palatable or more acceptable to somebody or some group of people when the truth is we don't need any permission anybody's permission to love ourselves like that we just don't need anybody's okay we don't really need it but if, if you don't remind yourself of that you lose a little bit of yourself every single day you do that yeah. every single time you do it you know it's it's a it's a simple thing life is is a lot less complicated than people make it but through these mm -hmm. times right here the only thing that we need to keep reminding folk of, especially people in our culture, that don't be asleep at the wheel. Thank you. Just don't be asleep exactly. at the wheel. I think that's a perfect and wonderful message. And forgive me for being the one that has to, to wrap things up, but uh, no, Bryson, go ahead, Jason. we've taken Thank a lot of your time, time sir. <laughs> we've taken Thank a lot of your time. <laughs> Uh, but I promise you, we'll we'll dial back into you soon to make sure we get you out of the uh, out of dishes and uh, and laundry duties. Um, don't worry, we got, we got you. Okay. you know, we got you. You know, because the the best conversations come from from around the kitchen and around the food because people Amen. don't really. I find, I found that people, if you found this Tony, that people really open up when you when you're cooking when they're getting ready to get something from it because they're gonna get they, something from it. Yeah. <laughs> we got it down on the Star Vista website. It got my cornbread, my yeah. black. Oh, see, see. Yeah. What? See, now you got me on there. Yeah. Tony had skills like that. I had no idea. No, see, you, you know, I, I didn't realize that's I had no skills, you know? <laughs> that's, that's Quarantine skills. <laughs> now, the, the, the first thing I thought, I taught my wife when she moved to, to America was how to make my grandmother's 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 macaroni and cheese. Oh, and wow. I'll be damned nice if she did, I know, right? I, and I'll be damned if she didn't improve on it. Oh, good. Oh, now wow. it's now now we do well, now we use four different cheeses simultaneously. Listen, don't give away all your secrets right here. Don't give away all your secrets. I know, right? I know, I know. Right? <laughs> don't don't, oh, right, don't start dipping into the cookbook. I know. I'm I'm trying to milk them for. I'm signing off before you give away I, all the family secrets, Pebo. That's it. I know, Listen right? <laughs> to everybody that's watching out there, whether you're a Star Vista Live cruiser or a Soul Train cruiser specifically, we love you. We appreciate you tuning in on behalf of the fabulous Angela Stribling, the all-time great Mr. Tony Cornelius, and the legend Mr. Pebo Bryson. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Keep your eyes on this channel for more content, and if we're lucky we might just turn a conversation like this into a cooking show with tony and pebo Ooh, who knows my friends who knows that spark, like it. that sparked the producer in me all right everybody take a <laughs> wave be safe be happy wash your hands we'll see you soon